hope you're all staying healthy and safe. Thank you all so very much for supporting my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a thumbs up as well. Here I have a table with a country's data or different countries data with the capital region population currency and GDP in respective columns uh, in order to filter this table or data in this table what we'll need to do is select the data and then uh, click on this data tab and then you'll see this button over here called filter You'll need to click on this button and after clicking that button you'll see there's these drop-down menus or drop-down buttons appear on all of the columns so what we can do is for example if I would like to select uh, countries that is in Asia what I'll do is unselect first it was like this and then I unselected it and then I'll go ahead and select click on this Asia and then close this and then now you can only see the countries that are currently in Asia so now if you want to remove this filter you can click on either this clear filter over here or you can go to this button over here right on the right side of a uh, filter button and then if you click on clear this becomes all clear so the other thing that you can do with a uh, filter is if I want to select uh, for example GDP which is uh, greater than a 10 billion for okay so what I'll do is choose one over here and I'll do greater than 10 billion and then you can also see that after I put in the number 10 it uh, popped up uh, this second row as well so I'll go ahead and close this for now now I have GDP of the countries which has greater than 10 billion dollars uh, of GDP which is almost all of the countries that I have in data so let me go ahead and change this to 100 uh, billion now I have only uh, 11 countries now if I want to just select between uh, 100 billion to uh, say less than 1000 billion then which is 1 trillion uh, then I have one two three four five six countries now also after you select these you can also so if you like to work with only the data that has or the countries that have um, GDP of greater than 100 billion and less than 100 uh, or 1000 billion then you can just go ahead and copy this and change it to a different or copy it to different sheet so you you can only copy these the filtered data over here and then if you want to add uh, just the top row you can do so as well and here is another data set that you can or subset of data you can work with um, if you'd like which um, so filtering I use it uh, very often uh, which um, helps me to uh, make subsets of data and uh, it's much more cleaner to work with the data that I just want to work with so now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and clear filters again and this is how you can use filter also another tip is if for example I would remove this filters over here by clicking or so what I did was 
first it was filtered with these drop down menus over here and then if you click back into filter again the drop down goes away another thing that you can do is command shift y'all to work with hope this video helps you all if this video helps you please consider giving it a thumbs up as well as please um, support this channel by subscribing to this channel and also please cl click on the bell icon so that whenever I upload new videos you'll get um, readily notified thank you all so very much and y'all have a good day bye bye